Zikaret, WX4TVJ, and welcome to HamRadio.World. MFJ gave us these MFJ295 microphones for ICOM radios, but they're built for the older radios, not the new ICOM 9051. The connector is on the new radio is similar to the older one, except the main difference is the uh, the plastic and or rubber stuff around it is much wider so it won't be able to fit in but because it's uh, soft you can grind it down easily or cut it off with a knife so that's an easy fix once we plugged it in and uh, talked to each other we um, couldn't hear each other very well so I found we found a way to fix that I'm going to show you how we fix that problem but first I'm going to show you what happens if, when you use a regular microphone, unmodified. WX4TVJ, one, two, three, four, five. As you can see in the meter, it didn't go very high, with an average deviation of 2.2 kilohertz. One, two, three, four, by WX4TVJ. We tried to fix it by taking it apart, and there's a resistor inside here that's 2.2 kilo ohms. What we did with one of the microphones is we put a 1 kilo ohm resistor in parallel. It made the microphone problem a little bit worse. So then we tried putting another resistor in, a 2.7 kilo ohm, in series. That made it better. Obviously, by now we know that the more resistance, the better the microphone works. So we put that, um, we added the one kilo ohm resistor in the series and it worked even better. But we wanted to kind of play around with a bunch of different resistances, so we put in a 100 kilo ohm variable resistor, played around with it, and found not surprisingly, that the uh, that 100 kilo ohms was the best. I'm gonna take it apart to show you how I would fix one of these. Right in front of Mike's house. I wish this was uh, at our house. This is a lot of nice stuff. So. Timeless stuff is hard work, and this is a really cool desoldering station. Which is not turned on. Hey Mike, how do you turn this thing on? I guess I'll ba go back into time lapse so it doesn't take so long for the desoldering station to warm up. So this, I think, is warmed up already. Let's see. Pretty cool, right? So now we've replaced the resistor with this 100 kilo ohm resistor. And now we're going to get Mike to show you how to test it. Basically what we're going to do is check the deviation between your newly modified microphone and a stock radio. Because obviously with the speaker mic, we want the deviation to be about the same. Otherwise, if it was hugely different than when you talk, for example, it would be extremely loud 
compared to somebody else and there's no automatic gain control typically in handheld um, receivers. So let's try the Yezu. This happens to be a Yezu FT60, a good radio. And let's just try transmitting. And what we're going to be looking at is this number right here on the service monitor. So this is an IFR 1900. It's a 2 gigahertz uh, service monitor, very commonly used in LAN mobile applications. I happen to use it primarily for 800 megahertz for tuning, for calibration of trunking radio systems, but of course we can use it for ham radio as well. We're on a frequency of 446.1, and the RF input is going to be this antenna, which is much more sensitive, although I could use this transmit and receive port as well, but I'm just choosing to use the receive antenna because I'm not tuning a duplexer, I'm not transmitting at all, I'm just receiving. Okay. While we're doing this, it will also tell us what the frequency error is, if there is any. Uh, typically, these modern transceivers are quite good, but this is GPS calibrated, so frequency accuracy-wise, this would be about one-tenth of a hertz off per gigahertz. So, very, very accurate. Okay, so we're going to transmit, I'm going to talk, normal voice, normal volume, we're going to look for this kilohertz, and we, we need it to be about 3.5 kilohertz, maybe 3.8, something like that. Again, this is the Yezu FT60. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, AA, 6, ML, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you saw, it, you saw it peaked at about 3.8, typically it was about 3.5. So that's our baseline. This is from the factory, uh, calibrated that way. Now, let's try your newly modified speaker mic. This is an MFJ295 coming into an ID51. Normally, as it comes from the factory, as you found out, this microphone doesn't work very well with this radio. The audio gain is way, way too low so that the other person can't hear you. But since you've modified it, let's see what it says. Testing one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five AA six ML. Just about the same, three point eight, four point one, something like that. So I'd call that pretty good. I think it works pretty well. Uh, therefore, when you're talking with this, and then somebody else talks on this, there's not going to be a huge volume difference. That's a good thing. So, two thumbs up. Looks like it's good, Zachary. And that's how we fix the MFJ microphone. And this is WX4DVJ from hamradio.world. Keep watching our videos, and uh, hope to see you next time.